Thank you. Wonderful. We all, we all want to declare there's power in the blood of Christ. Papa, you are declared now. Say it with all your heart. There's power in the blood of Jesus Christ. Wonder working power. Be, and Bishop Peter Katimo, God loves you. And he has put his love in me and anointing in me to release to you and to extend to you by his name. Remember, we, we are in Nairobi, Apostolic Faith Church. Mahati still continues studying with us, choose to start with us. With the vision God gave me, we are now, now at the position right there of purchasing a glorious altar in Nairobi. 10,000 seater capacity church is there. And we want to raise 340 million Kenyan shillings. That is $3 million. We need you. You are our partner. Make sure you get hold of me. As I raise anointing. I remember the other day a woman came to my office and said, Bishop, you mean God said that you anoint us to be millionaires for this work? I prayed for her. Within two days, she deposited one million Kenya shillings in the account. That's powerful. That's more than 10,000 US dollars. In Jesus' name, I unlock blessings. Just go to God and ask him, God, is you who spoke to Bishop? God, what do you want me to give? Whatever God you say, you follow that word in you and quicken you and raise you and you have blessings. So God bless you so much. In just name, we want to do that project quickly and very soon we will invite you as a partner. Come, see, a 10,000 seat where a chair after a chair, count them, 10,000. And we are believing God to have three services. Satan has no power, has no right. We are taking Nairobi, East Africa, Africa, world for Christ. For Christ said, do not overcome. Do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. I have overcome the world. And because Jesus has all authority in heaven and on earth, he is supposed to occupy everywhere on earth and everybody. Even those who are anti-Christ, they are deceived. I know very well, even if it's, there's a place in them that can only be occupied by Jesus. And there are needs in their lives that can only be met by Christ. There's a destiny before them which only Christ can make it comfortable and right. So God bless you so much. Clear position, clear position in battle. Clear position in battle. Now, one of the things is, remember we said about a clear confession. If you read Daniel chapter 3, verse 16, we have the three Jews who have been taken, they were relocated from Judah. You know when king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, attacked Judah, he took away intelligent young men to serve in his palace to receive special training on culture, systems, habits, language of his place so that he can have them around the palace. And not knowing, when they, when, when they took them away, they did not leave their faith back in Judah. They walked into that palace with the faith of Jehovah. And therefore, by the grace of God, when these people were there, one area that they must, they they, they, definitely they will differ with the king of Babylon is the issue of state worship where the king determines who and what is to be worshipped. That one, they must differ. And that one led to three men 
being uh, being sentenced to die in a fiery furnace that was made extremely hot for them to burn and burn and die there. It was a threat. If you go to Daniel chapter 3, the Bible says, as they approached the fire, the king asked them, uh -huh. the, king, the king asked this question. Let's see something now. Now, now if you are ready, at the time you hear the sound of the horn, fruit, herb, and you know, symphony or whatever, all kinds of music, you fall down and worship the image which I have made. It's the king who is determined what to be worshipped. One thing that soldiers clear position in warfare, we can learn clear position in warfare through the lives of Jews, servants of Jehovah, that were deported, that were taken away uh, uh, in exile in Babylon. One, the position of worship, their start of worship. The king determined who to be worshipped. And virtually this king was powerful. In prophecy, he is compared with a eh, lion. lion. In the revelation, the dream, in Daniel chapter 2, he is represented by the head, which was pure gold. And the last of the statue, in Daniel chapter 2, the head was Babylon, pure gold. And the chest, silver, a lesser, a lesser metal, was made of Persia. And the loins, those parts, bronze, a lesser metal, represented the, the empire of Greek, Greek empire that took over from Persia. A lesser metal, that is the feet, were made of iron, which represented the Roman Empire. After that, we go to more lesser. Eh? The, 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 the feet the, the feet at the bottom part where it's, it's said it was a mixer of iron and clay, which means from the time the Roman Empire fell, there has never been an empire that really had absolute authority in the world. It's a mixer of iron and clay. It's an extension of Roman system of government and whatever. But now, if you go now to this first kingdom that ruled the world after the fall of Israel, Babylonian kingdom, the state worship was predominant. And it, was, it said the king set an image for the whole world to worship. And when the sound of musical sound is made, all people bow to it. That's absolute authority, dictatorship. But now the Bible says, Something. Uh -huh. But if you do not worship, you shall be cast immediately into the midst of burning fiery furnace. And who is the God who will deliver you from my hands? One of the anointing God gives to soldiers who have clear possession of warfare is to face men and women Systems in this world that where men claim power against God, claim to claim, claim worship to take praise of God away from God Himself. And they want us to drift from God, bow to them, be their slaves and their systems. And the soldiers, warriors of the cross should be awake about this. And, 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 and it says, and who is this God who will deliver you from my hands? Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said, O king, 
Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If that is the case, our God, not the image, not another image, the always eternal God who is not made by man, but he made man. Who does not, who does not worship, but he is to be worshipped. Who does not depend, he's not dependent, but he's to be depended on. Who is not established by man, but he is forever established. Our God who we serve is able to deliver us from the burning fire the furnish. And he will deliver us from your hand, O king. If not, let it be known to you, O king, that we do not serve your God. Already we have our God and none can compare to him he is exalted above. He is all powerful. He is the cause of life. We, we don't have to, to worry about whatever is happening. Or what we want to know, it is absolutely impossible. We cannot serve your God. No, we we worship the golden image which you have set apart. Which you have set up. Whatever happened to us, that is our dignity relation of faith. I say, have a clear possession of warfare. Oh my God, you are the Shadrach of today. You are the Abednego of today. You are the Meshach of today. I will now submit this anointing to you. Let it be known. Tell that man, tell that woman, tell fix that system. Let it be known to you, whoever you are, that we do not serve your gods. No, we will worship your image. We will worship your philosophy. We will worship your demand. We will worship your system. We cannot. We can't. Whatever substitutes the living God, we can't. Even before we say anything else, can we register in the world system, world new orders that we are not bound to what they have set up. That is a unique characteristic of the anointing in soldiers with the clear position for warfare. It's happening in your marriage. Happening among your children. These days children want us to bow. Devil is attacking us through some system and some powers through our children. This is your son. He is connected to some funny, funny faith and satanic connections. Comes around your house with the demands and used as a parent because of love. You are forced to agree. And the only thing you do to your son is to soothe him, sympathize, flow with him, Whereas you know, the God, you, your son, has another thing that you never, never admit. Parents build strength in God so that when the devil brings strange things to our children, we can tell them by the authority of God, there's no other God to be served. Humanism, self-rights, which is part of new world order in children, is causing us to respect the rights of a person who is bound to the devil. We can't allow that. I pray that you receive anointing of a clear possession in battle. Let it be registered in the air. Let it be registered on earth. Let it be registered, registered under the earth. Let it be registered in neighborhood. Let it be registered in your sitting room. Let it be registered day and night. Let it be registered everywhere that we will not serve these strange gods. We will not worship whatever they have said. And now the Bible says, 
Nebuchadnezzar was full of anger. And the expression on his face changed to us, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. You soldiers of Christ, it will happen to you. Men in power, supervisors, managers, who want you to corrupt, who want you to, to defile your body, you young girl, somebody just want to go to fornicate with you because of some favors. Stop it! The God we serve cannot bless fornication. He'll give you a job because of fornication. That job, the money you earn there, will never make you rich. God cannot bless evil. And therefore, this king was full of anger. His face changed towards Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. I know the face attitude of people you changed towards against towards you. And he spoke and commanded that the heat in the furnace may be made seven times more than it was usually heated. We will face that. They can make the battles threats seven times hotter than unusual attacks. They can decide to, to level unusual attacks because of our position. And he said he commanded mighty men of valor, of war, who were in his army to bide. Now they are taking action on soldiers of Christ. Bide Shadrach. Bide Meshach. Bide Abednego. And cast them into the burning fiery furnace. Then these men were bowed in their coats, their trousers, their turbans, and their other garments, and were cast into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. Therefore, because of the king's command, because the king's command was urgent, and the furnace was exceedingly hot, and the age, and the and the and the, the men, the strong men who were sent to bide the three believing soldiers of Christ, the three believers, did not have time to take precaution, did not have time to know the design of throwing these people. As they threw the three men into the fire, the frames of the fire killed those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. This is a kind of judgment. It's, a kind, it's showing the king, king, the fire that you're using, even before anything is done, is judging your systems. And there is this man, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell down, bowed, into the midst of the burning fiery furnace. And the king was astonished. And he rose in haste and spoke, saying, when he came to check how it is happening, the fire, did we not cast three men bowed into the midst of the fire? They answered, and said the king, true, O king, look. He answered, I now see four men. We sent bowed men, but the men I see in the midst of the fire, they are four men, loose, free, walking in the midst of fire. May God cause unique signs in the midst of fire. Oh my God, clear position of warfare. I now prophesy that God, you create a unique sign in the fire that men want to throw you into. It may not be physical fire. It can be intellectual. Thought. Social fire. Yes, financial fire. But we are going. They drew us bowed. But they will find us free in the fire. Walking in the midst of fire like we were worshiping. And they are, is, the king said, and they are not hurt. Characteristics, they are free, loose. Number two, walking the fire. Number three, they are not hurt. And number four, and they appear to have 
a form of the fourth who is like son of God. If you check your Bible, the word son of God is in capital, in caps, son and God. Because Nebuchadnezzar was referring to a revelation beyond his God. Son of God. This definitely is a revelation. I want to say to this, friends, even those people who do not accept that Christ is there, it is a kind of deception. God will prove through manifestation and our winning of battles that our God exists. Nebuchadnezzar went near the mother of burning furniture and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, I now know you are servants of the Most High God. Come out and, they, and come here. Shadrach came out. And it, it happened that their hair was not touched. With their, the Bible says, and they saw this man on whose body the fire had no power. The hair of their head was not sinked, nor were their garments affected. And the smell of fire was not on them. Until the king stopped worshipping idol gods and raised his voice to the living God and said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who sent his angel and delivered his servants. And who trusted in him? And they have frustrated the king's word and yielded their bodies that they should not serve or worship another god except their god. Therefore, I make a decree that any nation, any people, or language, who speaks anything amiss against the god of these people shall be cut into pieces. And because there's no other god who can deliver like this. And king promoted the three men to be in charge of the province of Babylon. In Jesus name. This story is real. And God is saying. It's happening now to you. You. Soldiers of the cross. With a clear position of warfare. Receive this clear position. Like Shadrach. Meshach, Abednego, And the Lord confirms in me. This anointing. Is still at work now. Even in a greater way. For we are now coming to the end of the journey. And our redemption draws near. And God wants to confirm himself. And bring a clear distinction that he is the only hope of glory. God is proving his word in that fire. Your hair will not be affected. No smell of fire and smoke. Nothing until you. Finally, there will be a clear, clear confirmation. Your God is great. And God is taking over your family, over your nation, over your business area with confirmation that he is a true God and he is for you. And above all, he will not, not only confirm himself, but he will confirm men to provide your right position. Your right level of profession. These people are taken just to be slaves and to, to be trained as ordinary people. But within a day, they were made governors in the profession. May God cause that. Now, as I speak, I declare it on you. I rebuke fear. I rebuke every limitation. And God who was there then is here now. And he is even wanting and desiring to be glorified in a more significant, glorious way beyond what happened to Shadrach and his friends. Receive this favor. In Christ I bless you.